what's going on youtube got another video for y'all uh been gone for a little bit just had a busy week last week uh business been pretty good been picking up now that spring's hit and uh you know the weather's clearing up got a lot of nice days so seems like everybody's pretty busy at least uh down here in houston so uh, i got a little different video interesting one um i saw this brand of tools online it's a japanese brand um so fujia is the brand which i've seen it around i've seen a couple people uh do some reviews on some of their tools but i didn't i haven't seen the pliers wrench didn't know they made um you know a version of the pliers wrench i originally saw these and i saw these in the linesman pliers they had and i thought you know let me go ahead and order those and you know just kind of check them out uh and uh, I, I thought these were the larger version, but it turns out they're not. I think I paid about $25 for these on uh, Amazon. But uh, I was gonna order these in the linesman, but when I saw the pliers wrenches, I went ahead and bought these. And reason is I have a few player of linesmen, so I, I just kind of wanted to buy them, try them out, kind of show them to y'all, see what y'all thought. But yeah, these were pretty interesting. Um, so it is a Japanese brand. They are made in Japan. You can see that right there. So can't really get any information on here except for slip joint combination pliers with cutters, which are these, which they say with cutters. And I mean, I guess they do have, you know, I guess you can, use, they have kind of shears, you know, they're not cutters like dikes or some diagonal cutters, but I guess you can use that as a shear right in between. You can see that but interesting pliers i mean the design a lot nicer than your basic slip joint pliers uh don't know if they're nicer than the knipex slip joints i haven't got a pair of those so i need to order a pair of those but i mean these are a lot cheaper they do have them i think this is the seven inch they do have an eight inch so they do come larger but the design is a lot nicer than, you know, let's say your standard slip joints with these Huskies. Uh, they've been around for a while, but these Huskies is kind of, you know, your standard design. A lot bigger. Like I said, these are smaller. It said seven inches, you know, let's, let's measure that. I don't know if they're measuring the whole thing yet. I mean, from top to bottom, that's seven inches. So these are, I guess, would be considered an eight inch. But you can see, you know, the standard side, you know, you got the, these actually have the cutter in between also. But these are a lot slimmer, which I know they're smaller, but I would imagine even the larger brand, you know, they're a lot slimmer. They don't have the regular, they, they kind of got a unique uh, mouth on them, you know, compared to the old fashioned style, the original style. They got more of a, you know, rectangular uh, mouth on them, you know, to grab nuts. So, seem like some nice pliers. I wish I would have got the larger ones, but I I'll order them and then we'll we'll check those out. But uh, yeah, I mean they're they're nice pliers, you know, just small. These, however, I think I paid twenty. I want to say about twenty four dollars, twenty five dollars for these on Amazon. And like I said, when I saw these, I went ahead and ordered these instead of the linesman pliers. These are a little more expensive. They're, as of today, they're $61 on Amazon, which is close to the Knipex uh, price. I think the Knipex are about $65, $67 right now on Amazon. So, But uh, these are made in Japan also. Let me, let me make sure on that. Let's see. Oh, these are made in Taiwan. Made in Taiwan. So Japanese brand, but uh, made in Taiwan. So pretty nice. I mean, they're light. Not too heavy. You know, they, they even got the double uh, beam. I don't know what you call it, but real similar to the Knipex. You know, let's compare them. So these are the Knipex. They'll both be the 10 inches, so, you know, it's pretty much a fair comparison. These do have 
some type of black oxide coating. Not sure what they call it. I don't know if anybody could read Japanese. Not sure what, um, what they call this type of coating. But right off the back from feeling them, at close, the Nipex, it's easier to grab, right? But you're not going to grab them like that. You're going to open them. You're going to put it on a nut. You know, and you're going to grab. And the thing what makes these Nipex good is... The handles are closer together, you know. The mouth stay parallel. The handles are closed. You can get a good grip on them. These, not so much on clothes, but as soon as you open them, they kind of do the same. So you got that good grip on those also. Uh, they do have a rubber grip, but it's the textured grip, which I think these Kinepex come with the textured grip also. So real similar they have they do have the markings but they only have uh metric you know the knipic has your uh metric measurements as well as your um inches so you get both on that let's open them all the way up and see uh so knipic says they go up to two inches these are labeled up to 40 and they got a couple of uh, maybe 42 so this is all the way open and closed and you can see the get a little bit more with the knipex i'm sorry for the sound in the background it's my washer going off so i'm in the garage that's the shop for now but uh anyways yeah so i mean i don't know for the price of these I guess we'll see how they hold up. You know, if I had to choose just from using these, you know, I've had these for maybe uh, uh, maybe about a, a little over a month, two months, and I like them. I've used them. I've used them on uh, hydraulic lines on my rig, and uh, I mean, they're real good, real good, real handy to have. I mean, you got one, one pair of pliers is going to be you know a few pair of wrenches you know more than a few so i'll use these i'll see how these hold up not really sure what type of metal they're using for them but you know i thought that i know everybody's making the design now you know i know uh harbor freight got some um i think capri has a pair so i don't know too many other decent companies that are making uh some other decent brands that are making the pliers wrench but i know fujia is a it's a pretty decent japanese brand so you know i'm thinking it's a good choice but you know for six more dollars you can grab these so is it worth paying you know save the six bucks and get the japanese brand over the german knipex which you know the brand is you know tried and true been around for a long time and you know, the, these, these been in everybody's shop, everybody using them, everybody has good things to say about them. Don't know too many people using these. I don't know, have you tried them? Let me know what y'all think. So, they do have these on Amazon. I also got them on the Japanese Amazon. I don't know if you check that out. You can order them on there also. I think the price is the same. Actually, you know, I haven't checked, but I know if you go on uh, Amazon Japan, you can get a lot of stuff, a lot of Japanese tools, a little bit cheaper than you would find on Amazon. So, you know what? For the heck of it, let's weigh them. Let's see. Uh, since they're pretty similar, I mean, it's pretty a fair comparison. They're both 10 inches, same design. Let's see which ones weigh more. So, let's go with the Kinepex first. So... One pound, half an ounce. One pound, one and a half ounce. So pretty much ounce, an ounce heavier for these. Does that matter? I don't know. It made to you. Carrying them all day. You know, using them or carrying them in your pouch. Maybe that ounce makes a difference, you know. Sorry about that. But, uh, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. I'm, I'm going to order... I'm probably going to order the dikes from them. I might go ahead and order the linesman pliers just to have a little set. And, you know, kind of run them through his paces. Check them out. Let me know what y'all think. 
are you familiar with this brand, Fujia? These are called the Kurokin. So that's kind of this set they have. They're, they're all black and gold, the diagonal cutters. And uh, some of the ones I've seen, they have a little lanyard loop. So they have kind of a little gold ring on the end where you can hook a lanyard to. So, you know, that's kind of beneficial if you're working on scaffolds, on, you know, anything where you suspend it up in the air and you need to have a lanyard on your tools so they don't fall off. So... But let me know what y'all think. Have you checked them out? Have you heard about them? Have you used them? Would you rather buy these? Save $6? Or stick with the tried and true? Alright, y'all go ahead and leave a comment. Subscribe. And I'll see y'all on the next one.